Let's get responsible for cracking this truck later. Pretty good in the hood. It's your man Theo Butler. Welcome to a. Well, it's Sunday, right? We're gonna go to church. But I'm not gonna say nothing. But uh, what I will do is I act like Deacon, Deacon Butler. And uh, so, because we've been asking a lot of questions. Before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. But we've been asking a lot of questions, right? Recast the Tyler. Yes, of course, this is a recast the Tyler video on a chat with Bozeman video. But what we're going to do, because see, I, I, I hear people talking. I hear people questioning. I hear people saying, well, we didn't hear this and, and we didn't hear that. But see, I, I, I believe that, you know, when it's when it's all said and done, you need to go to the horse. You need to hear from them. And so what I'm fishing to do is for one minute and 47 seconds, because we've asked a lot of questions and we act like we don't have the answers. See, I take my lead from somebody else. So what I'm fishing to do right now is introduce you. See, this right here is a minute and 47 seconds of his one of his first interviews speaking about his beloved brother before he even got the TMZ. This interview predates Kevin Feige's statement. You know, those who like to say, believe in Marvel. Yes, it predates Kevin Feige's statement by 48 hours. A statement that Marvel Studios has never acknowledged. A statement that Nate Moore, Ryan Coogler, and the cast and crew have never even acknowledged. Ladies and gentlemen, Derek Bowser. What would you want Black Panther 2 to do? I can't answer that. What would you want it to be like? I can't come here and ask a Black Panther <laughs> question. <laughs> no, I'm joking, Derek. <laughs> no, I get it. I mean, I would want him to be in it. I would want him to continue Obviously, to be yeah. King T'Challa. Now, I can answer what you aren't asking me. Okay, what's that question? Uh, I see a narrative uh, being assembled by Hollywood. Hmm. And I could be completely wrong, but a black man being a king does not fit the narrative of not at all what they want the world yeah. to see. Um, a black man being a victim, yeah. Yeah. Black man being killed in the streets, yeah. yeah. But a black man being a king is not the narrative that they want the world to see. And I don't think they liked the response that powerful. came back from a black man being a king. And though I believe that black women are queens anyway, yeah. I think that the narrative that we will see is that the Black Panther will be a female. Next. You think so? I believe so. I believe it'll be her little sister or his little sister. The one, the that's what I think. But mm. a black man being a king is does not fit what the powers that be want. Mm. That's right. I'm back. December eighth, twenty twenty, was when he made that statement. Hold on, cause I know some people got some questions. Hold on, I'll be right back. What would he want Black Panther two to be like? <sighs> I can't answer that. What would you want it to be like? I can't come here and ask a Black Panther question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, Derek. <laughs> no, I get it. I mean, I would want him to be in it. I would want him to continue Obviously. to be yeah. King T'Challa. Now, I can answer what you aren't asking me. Okay, what's that question? Uh, I see a narrative uh, being assembled by Hollywood. Hmm. And I could be completely wrong, but a black man being a king does not fit the narrative of not at all what they want the world yeah. to see. Um, 
a black man being a victim, yeah. Yeah. Black man being killed in the streets, yeah. yeah. But a black man being a king is not the narrative that they want the world to see. And I don't think they liked the response that powerful. came back from a black man being a king. And though I believe that black women are queens anyway, yeah, I think that the narrative that we will see is that the Black Panther will be a female. Next. You think so? I believe so. I believe it'll be her little sister, or his little sister. The one, the that's what I think. But mm. a black man being a king is does not fit what the powers that be want. Mm. That's very yeah. See, I ran that back. I ran that back because I figured you was gonna have some more questions. Hold on. One more time, because I know people got some questions. You want to you wanna break it down. You want to analyze what he said. Hold on. I'm going to help you out. What would he want Black Panther 2 to be like? Hmm. I can't answer that. What would you want to be like? I can't come here and ask a Black Panther <laughs> question. <laughs> no, I'm joking there. <laughs> no, I get it. I mean, I would want him to be in it. I would want him to continue Obviously, to be... Yeah. King T'Challa. Now, I can answer what you aren't asking me. Okay, what's that question? Uh, I see a narrative uh, being assembled by Hollywood. Hmm. And I could be completely wrong, but a black man being a king does not fit the narrative of not at all what they want the world yeah to see um a black man being a victim yeah yeah black man being killed in the streets yeah. yeah but a black man being a king is not the narrative that they want the world to see and i don't think they liked the response that powerful. came back from a black man being a king and though i believe that black women are queens anyway yeah. I think that the narrative that we will see is that the Black Panther will be a female. Next. You think so? I believe so. I believe it'll be her little sister or his little sister. The one the that's what I think. But mm. a black man being a king is does not fit what the powers that be want. Mm. That's right. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Come on. That was Pastor Derek Bozeman. Pastor Bozeman. What, what, what we talking about now? Pastor Bozeman. Because people keep telling me about what Kevin Feige said, which is the, I guess, the CEO at Marvel. I don't know. People keep telling me about the executive, Nate Moore. People keep telling me about the writer-producer, uh, Ryan Coogler, people keep telling me about the actors Winston Duke, Lupita Nyong'o, Letitia Wright, but can we talk about Pastor? Can we talk about Pastor? See, this ain't even my religion. Come on, somebody. But I know some of y'all it is. We talking about Pastor. That was Pastor. Derek Bozeman. The video is from Urban Faith. That's a Christian network. You need me to say that one more time? Hey, Pastor Derek Bozeman. See, y'all been listening to who? Pastor Derek Bozeman. The interview is from where? Well, Urban Faith Network. You need him to say what's going on again because I played that video for you three times. Who you need to take your counsel from? Because the recasters haven't been venomous with their words. No, we haven't. We've been very, very respectful, and we've been very, very articulate. It's quite a few anti-recasters can't say that, and you know it, because quite a few of y'all didn't made your voices known, and you know how you didn't talk to people. You made disparaging comments about women in the movement. You made disparaging comments about members of the, in the LGBTQ that's in the movement. You made disparaging comments about black boys that's in the movement, children in the movement, black men in the movement, just to get this character not recast, just to justify it. 
You need me to bring it home for you? i do it one more time. You seen Omar Arbery, right? How many times did you watch Omar Arbery die? Right, right. Eight minutes and 45 seconds. How long did we watch? Come on now. How long did we watch George Floyd die? And we watched it. But now watch this. Do you know it was people right there within a few feet of George Floyd looked like George Floyd watched him die? Nobody saw themselves as T'Challa. You need me to say that one more time? In that moment, nobody saw themselves as T'Challa. The people that killed Omar Arbery, murdered Omar Arbery, sat home for weeks. Nobody in that community saw themselves forget as T'Challa. Nobody in that community saw themselves being from Wakanda. There was no T'Challa. There was no Zuri. There was no T'Chaka. There was no Sion. There was no Azuri. There was no Bashinga. And that is everything Marvel is trying to take from you. And you are co-signing. You co-signing. You might not agree with what I just said. Let me rephrase that. You might not like what I just said. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite a few of you that disagree. But no, nah, that is what that is. You don't like it, but no. We did watch them die. And there were times when we could have act like, act like heroes. And we didn't. What we did was we watched ourselves die in the street. That is what Derek Bozeman has been telling you since December 8th. And that is what Kevin Feige, Nate Moore, and Ryan Coogler have been pushing on us since they made that decision in a matter of minutes. They made it in a matter of minutes. That's how do you respect a man and make a decision about him within a matter of minutes? That's not respect. That's disrespect. I'm not signing up for it. I'm encouraging. If, if you're a Black Panther fan, I'm encouraging you not to sign up for it. If you love Chadwick Boseman as a man, he's a phenomenal actor. But there was more to him than just being an actor. That man stood for something. If you stand for what he stands for, you're not going to go support this movie. And you should never, ever be comfortable uttering the words when it comes to the portrayal of black characters. And somebody tells you that they're going to kill off a black character that you know is still alive. You need to think about your mindset if you say, I'm excited to go see it, I'm looking forward to it, or I just want to see how they do it. Because that is nothing. Anybody that looks like Bruce Wayne or Clark Kent is ever going to let come out their mouth. They know it, and I know it. And if they do say it, it's a damn joke. I ain't saying it, I'm just saying. Peace.